I'm Peter Waters, Chief of the Hand Surgery Program at Children's Hospital of Boston and Clinical Chief of Orthopedics uh, here at Children's. Uh, hypoplastic thumb is an underdeveloped or uh, smaller thumb. It comes from early in pregnancy when the hand is forming and the thumb is forming. What it results in is a thumb that doesn't have the normal muscle bulk for pinch, has some element of instability of this joint, and has a tightness of this web space, so instead of a normal L, there's a tight V. That then results in difficulty of doing uh, strong activities of pinch, for example, turning a key, or grabbing a hold of wide objects like a big bottle or you know, cup of some sort and holding onto it strongly. For us, it comes down to can we make that into a better thumb by moving muscles, stabilizing joints, putting it in a better position so it can pinch and function and generate strength over the course of the lifetime. There are some thumbs that are so underdeveloped that they just won't be able to be a good thumb with that sort of surgery. And so there's a grading system, but at some point if you don't have a normal joint at the base of your thumb, you're not going to be able to have that thumb function very well. The most unique operation uh, that is hard for parents to kind of grasp and understand is something called a policization, which just means turn a digit into a thumb. So the operation involves taking your index finger and literally making it into a thumb. And surprisingly, you can make a very good thumb that looks like a thumb, acts like a thumb, pinches like a thumb through this policization operation in the right uh, situation, the right kid. The outcome is dependent on how good the index finger is. So if you start with a very good index finger, you're actually going to end with a very good thumb. Parents worry a lot about what it'll look like and what it is. One of the fascinating things is that people don't count fingers. So if it, it's symmetric, it's balanced, the aesthetic part of it actually can be very good. Surgery for a hypoplastic thumb, um, one that you can reconstruct, make stronger, make more stable, in a sense make better, uh, involves really several components, but one is to provide this muscle. And it turns out all of us are born with many extra muscles that do the same thing. So we would call that a muscle or a tendon transfer to replace this, and we will commonly move one of the muscles that generally is used to move the small finger and rotate it to move the thumb. Or we might take one of the two muscles that move a finger like the index or long or most commonly ring finger and move it over to provide this bulk for pinch. And then we usually rearrange this skin to make more space and then we'll oftentimes make a new ligament here to make this thumb stable so that when you go to pinch it's strong and the muscle strong and when you go to open around a cup that this is strong and it's wide. Fortunately, because we have many muscles that do the same thing, it is uh, okay, it's appropriate to borrow one without loss. So if we take one of the tendons from the ring finger, for example, there is another one that moves it. So it doesn't change your ability to close your fist or make a tight grip or hold a golf club or whatever it is that you like to do. Similarly, there are three muscles here so if we borrow one of them to move it, the other two are strong enough that your hand, your brain, actually doesn't know the difference. In the children who need it, and, and not all of them need it, but in the children who really have deficiencies of their thumb that's going to be problematic, we oftentimes do surgery between about 6 and 12 months of life. At first that actually can be alarming to the parents because their kids are so young and so little and they worry. But it turns out anesthesia is as safe as it is any time in your lifetime after six months of age. Your brain doesn't really figure out what a thumb's supposed to do until about 15 to 18 months of life. So if you do that surgery when it's safe, but before the brain figures it out, in a sense there's no relearning that goes on. They can just use their new thumb. And our instruments and our magnification and our microscopes and our tools are fine enough and delicate enough that we can very successfully do the surgery on very small babies.